Turning now to developing news in Vernon, where several families are still displaced after a massive fire in an old mill building. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but the size and the heat of this fire did pose a risk to nearby homes. Channel 3's Audrey Russo is live from the scene with details. Audrey, we understand fighting this fire has been an all-day undertaking. Kara, 10 hours and counting. That's pretty much where we're at right now here on Brooklyn Street. I'm going to step out of the way so photojournalist Alex Aronimo can zoom in on the firefighting efforts. You can see in the branches, that's not snow. That's ice from where gallons and gallons and gallons of water have been dousing this fire. Uh, right now, many of the hot spots have been put under control at this time. But really, this has just been a massive undertaking. Now, take a look at this video. This is from neighbors who were watching nearby at the scene closer to 2 a.m. You can see Brooklyn Street looked more like an inferno. Police and fire officials say around 10 to 15 houses and apartments were evacuated because the heat from the fire was starting to melt the siding from some nearby buildings. Now, throughout the morning, multiple aerial trucks were spraying water nonstop surrounding the blaze, doing a surround and drown. Eventually, they knocked the fire back, but it wasn't before it dealt some serious damage to this historic building. Fire officials say it won't be standing much longer. They're going to have to demolish it. They've already begun to demolish parts of it, really, so that they could get to some of those deep-seated areas of fire. Take a listen. Basically, remove some of the collapsed material to get to some of the deep-seated fire, because some of the exterior walls are... Um, they're in danger of collapse. And you can tell it's posing a safety risk in more ways than one. Now, fortunately, Kara, as you said, no one was injured, no firefighters, no uh, onlookers, nobody in those nearby houses or apartments that had to be evacuated. All of those evacuated people were directed by the Red Cross to a safe shelter at Rockville General Hospital. Uh, we're told that they're going to be out of their houses for the better part of the day because they had to cut power to the homes to safely fight the fire. And, of course, on a chilly day like today, nobody wants to be inside with no power. Um, so they're hoping to get those folks back in their home later on tonight or tomorrow. But again, just a, a, a massive fire here this morning, and we're told that crews are going to be on scene for a large part of the day, not only making sure that all the hot spots are out, but also working with deep officials to make sure that there's no uh, extra runoff that's going into the Hockenham River that's, that's nearby. In Vernon, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News.